Oh shit, well, as I said, there is nothing wrong with being gay. Well, actually, based on Soviet laws, there is, but it's not in Soviet anymore, so... Now went from politics to something else, but oh well. Uh, my definition of class is a little bit different. Like, coming to a party an appropriate. to a party in a proper outfit, that's class, because for instance, if you go to an opera, you will have a tux or a suit, and that shows class, you have a sense of class, you have a sense of what to wear to this, uh, a different event, but if you have swag and you're a hipster, like hipsters, where do they come from? Like, it's just a fad that passes over time, class, will not pass all the time. Gamer is not the only word that lost all of its meaning. The word nerd and geek lost all of its meaning as well. Also, there's a problem where what used to be originality is not referred to as hip. I don't know when the decay of language occurred, but I was not part of it. I love languages, and I love the original way how languages go. By original, I mean the way it was when I learned them. But you get the idea. For instance, when languages start to decay, and people start to use slang instead of the proper language, then I get slightly annoyed. Maybe I'm just some 23 year old old fart, who knows? But people should not. There are so many wonderful words you can use to tie together sentences. And whenever I hear. Whenever I hear a sentence that goes something like this. And I was like, and he was like, and then we're like, mm, and like, mm, and like, mm. I want to shoot myself and take the people talking like that with me. And it, it, it's happened over all languages that I know, and it's just sad. There's nothing you can do about it. Yes, but there are other words too. <laughs> yes, you really want to say, art thou your rage, brethren? So basically what happened is that the language decays and people want to use SMS language in real speech. I forgot what I wanted to do in the game because of that conversation. Uh, yeah, I was checking something. It's not hard at all to speak really fast. 
It's not something you develop, it's something you have or you don't. It doesn't mean that you want to convey as much information as possible, you just have to articulate the words properly to speak like this. It's not an art to speak fast, it's just an art of articulation. You either can articulate or you can't. Sorry. Something like that. If you really want to talk fast, you have to learn how to articulate properly and then you will be able to talk fast. But shortening the words to convey more meaningless information is not the way. Yes, but the problem is, Blunteron, is that uh, people are influenced to choose things that sell most of the time because we are living in a consumer society. It's actually nice that the entire chat became instantly active when we are starting to talk about hipster swag and politics. In a way that's really good. Pondering, I stumbled upon someone that had the following presentation. Like using words that are weird or hard gives it a charm, I would even say. And that charm. But here, here you have it, Blunteron. Do you remember the older names when games did not give you a hint wherever to go, what to do? Back when we had to learn the different methods to find information inside the game. Now I sound like an old man. But back then we actually had to think what to do, when to do it, and we got no help. Nowadays, Pretty much everything... Yes, I remember... How many people here remember System Shock 1? The first System Shock. Yes, but most people never did. Once parents never bought you a strategy guide, you had to play through it by yourself. That was the point of it. You get one game at Christmas, you have to play through it. It was up to you how to do it. But you would always sit there and finish the game. It taught us discipline, it taught us dedication. Nowadays, nowadays if a game is too hard, you go to the internet and look up things. How many people here had a NES when they were growing up? Uh, how many remember the game uh, Shadow Run or uh, something like that? Uh, NES, a Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, it was a adventure game, a point-and-click adventure game. I don't. Uh, it's called Shadowgate, not Shadowrun. Shadowgate. 
and uh, it was about you being in a castle and solving things with a torch and so on and so on. But it was a logical thinking game, and there were not a single, I mean not a single clue. And point and click adventure games in general has slowly started to disappear completely. And this is just sad. Return to Monkey Island, uh, Day of the Tentacle, Full Throttle. Those games were, to us, they were our childhood, more or less. Yes, Bell Gamer? Uh, those games become really popular. Let's take for instance... Oh wait, Dark Souls. Uh, I will not get uh, special magic. Wait, that's not the way out yet. Where is it? Not the room. There's nothing wrong with internet English. Most of those types of things were made to make people laugh, but when you use it, you use it in real life. It's completely different. For instance, I would feel wrong. If I would start, while streaming, start talking like I was SMSing somebody, uh, and it would just feel wrong. No explanation as to why, but the uh, way of communication. I can't convey a proper meaning while using that type of language. It's really hard to explain feelings or let's say a mood in today's words. I find maybe I'm wrong. communicate in German anymore because I forgot most of the language. I dislike talking Swedish because how sometimes it feels a language that not really feelings too well. And my English is rather good, I hope. Could be better.
English. I know it will sound boring as hell, but if you want to not forget your own language, read the book in your own language. That is extremely efficient. I still try to read as many Russian books as possible. I read Swedish books from time to time. I can still perfectly read in German. And I also read English. But, uh, books. The keepers of knowledge that we had before the internet. But knowledge actually meant something. But intelligence was priced instead of uh, frowned upon. I really sound like an old man. That is just sad. Yeah, that's one of the problems with books that a lot of them are not translated. I know a stereotype that is true, that Spanish people are in general really bad in English, statistically speaking. Yes, uh, because at some point you will be able to fill in the gaps in any Latin, uh, Latin based language or Russian based language or a Slavic based language. If you're reading the book, yes, Spirix will be on later to play Final Fantasy VII. But well, it depends up to him what he will be playing, but he will be on later, yes. His shift starts after mine. But I have a love for information in general, meaning I really like to learn new things, but I really don't, I'm not a practical person, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to practically use my skills. What I mean is, for instance, uh, I know how to fight, I'm good at it, but I don't like doing it. The same thing with many things, I'm... I know how to write songs. I'm decent at it, but I don't like doing it. Because once I reach a threshold at something... No, once I reach a, a certain level of something, I become uninterested in it. Some people call it laziness. Others call it... Bias? No, not bias. I don't know, it's just that I'm having a really hard time finding what I really like other than game, computer games and video games. I like... I'm 23.
Yeah, most people don't watch TV, but I mean, there is a show that goes on TV or on the internet that you like to watch. What is the show? Like, it can be Epic Meal Time, it can be FPS Russia. I am not gonna judge you, I'm just saying I'm gonna compare it to what I'm watching on every day. Yes, yeah, so you look, you watch Dexter, for instance. Uh, second watches Games of Thrones. nowadays that when watching TV, I mean just regular TV, a program like um, Top Gear has more information than anything else very much. I mean on regular TV, I'm not talking about the uh, cable channels and so on and so on. But you can actually learn something about cars from there, while every other thing has something like uh, Biggest Loser or uh, Next Top Model. Big Brother. How can a person living in Sweden watch a show called on, on a channel that we don't even get. I'm sorry if my voice sounded condescending kind of right there, but...
Like, no, it's one of the things with religion that annoys me. Just basic, based on raw logic. I'm not talking about uh, all the books and so on, but if we are given free will, let's put it this way, if we are given free will, No, I'm not saying anything about bad about religion or good about religion, I'm just being neutral here and saying if we are given free will, isn't it our choice to follow religion and not? How come other people are supposed to tell us what we're doing is right or wrong? It's our own decision to choose what religion we follow and if we follow one at all. I'm not bashing on religion, I'm just saying what logically is my view on it, nothing else. I believe in morals. Morals are nice. I believe in justice. Justice is nice. Hmm, what hope? Uh -huh. <laughs> I see. What I'm saying, my view is live and let live. And also, morals and, yeah, morals are more important. Okay, I'm gonna uh, uh, vote a comedian now, and he said it like this: the entire Bible should not consist of ten things; it just consists of one thing. Don't be a dick. And that pretty much sums it up. Don't be a dick. The first comedian to ever say this, I think, was believe it was George Carlin. Um, uh, sadly, he has already passed away. But he was one of the uh, comedians that actually questioned things. And questioning things is, I think, is the basis to anything good. If you can't, if, the, if it's not questionable, then something's wrong. It's calm down, not clam done. So yes, I'm sorry if I made anybody angry or someone off, that wasn't my intention, I'm just saying that 